I think I just figured out the secret to breaking forks in your waves. If this is your first time watching my videos, thank you for clicking. Consider subscribing and turning on that post notification bell. If you're a returning subscriber, I just released my new beanies. Y'all go check them out at shopnarest.com. Fully restocked on our satin line beanies. All my waivers. I know y'all know how it feels when y'all don't want to wear your do rag or when you can't wear your do rags. You just throw in your sad line beanie, it has a do rag on the inside, take care of everything. Y'all check out shopnarest.com. Use code gratitude at checkout to get 10% off your order. With that being said, let's jump right into it. count how many forks you're able to spot in your weaves. There's one back here and we see two, we see three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight forks that we're working with and I'm going to show you exactly how you can break your forks within a month or two, depending on how much work you put in. The secret to breaking your fork, you're gonna need a comb. The comb is gonna be your best friend. You're gonna need a brush. It could be medium, it could be hard. Whatever brush you're able to use, depending on how far in the wolf stage you're in. If you're really wolfing heavy and you're able to use a hard brush, use that hard brush. But this right here, this is gonna be your best friend. You wanna use this comb every time you're doing your main brush session. Your main brush session will be the longest brush session when you're trying to progress. Your morning session, that's kind of like using a soft brush when you're doing like a 15 minute session. Your night session is like when you're um, finishing up the day, getting ready to go to sleep. Within those sessions, you're not really using a hard brush trying to lift your hair up. Your morning routine and your night routine is basically like trying to keep your hair nice and clean, nice and laid. Your main session, that's when you're actually trying to progress. So you throw that comb in there, use your hard brush, do everything to try to progress. And that should be your longest session. That should be around 30 minutes to maybe an hour. Another thing that's gonna be very helpful to breaking your forks is your washing styles. You should be washing once or twice a week, depending on how much product you're putting in your hair within that week. So if you moisturize once a week, you should be washing your hair once a week. And if you moisturize two to three times a week, you should be washing your hair more often. So that's up to two times a week. Try not to wash three to four times a week. I'm pretty sure that's not really beneficial to your scalp by adding a bunch of shampoo in your hair throughout the week, throughout the month. Your washing styles are going to be very critical to breaking your forks because when your hair is wet and you have shampoo in there, it's very easy to manipulate. So if you want to shift your waves, if you want to break those forks, the best time to really do it is during your brush session with the shampoo in your hair. Those brush sessions should be around 10 to 15 minutes and that's the best time to progress. Washing styles are very important. So I'll come to a conclusion. You will need a brush, a comb, and washing style once or twice a week in order to break forks. Depending on how many times you're brushing throughout the week, if you're brushing every single day, if you're doing three brush sessions a day, if you're doing two main sessions a day, you're brushing three hours a day, you're putting in the brush work, it's gonna determine how fast you're able to break those forks. Now, if you're brushing once a week, it might take you three to four months to break those forks. Now, if you're brushing every single day and putting in the work, it might take you for three to four weeks. It might take you two weeks. It might take you a week. During your main session, you want to take your comb. Number one thing you want to do is you want to figure out what is the main fork within your waves. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. Pay close attention. This is important. The main fork on my right side is, this is the back side. So we're not even going to count this fork right here. Right. So let's focus on this side. Now we got one fork. We got two forks. And we got three. I know this is my front side, but I'm gonna just count this towards my right side. Cause when I'm brushing on my right side, I'm able to see it and I just count it as my right side, right? Because this fork is affected by how I brush my right side. All right, so my the main fork on my right side is not this one, it's this one. I say it's this one because it's right in the middle of these two, okay? So however I brush this fork is gonna determine how these forks move so this is the main fork this is important as well how you brush this fork to get rid of it you want to take your brush first i'm going to show you how to comb that fork you want to comb against the fork so the fork is forging into two different waves going this way and going that way you don't want to brush with the with the fork you want to brush against it okay so if the brush it if the fork is going this way you want to brush this way, like this. Okay, you want to comb that way, you want to brush that way. So you want to structure your, your main session by combing the fork this way, every time, okay? Same with this one, you want to comb it this way. Now, 
I know you, I said you want to comb away from the fork, meaning if the fork is going this way, you want to comb away from it. But since I said this fork is the main fork, every fork around it, you want to comb and brush the same exact way. You can't comb and brush this fork this way and then comb and brush this fork this way. You can, but um, it, it just makes it a lot easier when you brush all the forks the same way. That way you won't be able to cause other forks. Now, you could definitely comb this um, fork this way, but now when you're doing that, this fork becomes a part of the left side. No, we want this fork to align with the right side. This is my right side. I have one, two, three, three forks on my right side. So therefore I brush all the right side forks the same way. Now, if I start brushing this fork this way, now this fork becomes a part of the left side. That's not what we want. This is our right side fork, right? So we comb this fork this way, this fork we comb it this way, this fork we comb it this way, okay? Now, after you finish with your comb, you do everything. Now, when it comes to brushing, you do the exact same thing. You brush it this way. You brush this one this way. You brush this one this way. Now, you just, you just switch your whole brush angle, all right? Because usually, the reason these forks are here is because I brush this way. But now that I'm trying to break the fork, now I got to start brushing this way. Instead of brushing my right side this way, now I have to brush it this way. You see it? Two different angles. This way, this way. Because the, the brush was facing this way, now it's facing this way. Okay? The only reason I switch it like this because it's easy on my wrist. I don't want to keep, you know, my wrist is going to break if I keep doing it. But you see what I mean? You got to change your, your entire angle. You change the angle and you do that for however many, many times you brush it a week. You put in the work, you do that for about two to three two to three weeks, up to a month, and you'll start seeing progress. Now, you do the same thing when you're doing your washing style. So, you wash and style twice a week, um, the fork is going to move a lot faster because when your hair is wet, it's easier to manipulate, okay? Now, let's move on to our left side. I hope you guys understood that. If you understood, let me know in the comments. Let's move on. Same thing for the left side. You want to figure out what the main fork is on the left side, right? The main fork on this side, I would say is this one. Y'all see this one? This is my main fork on my left side, right? So now you want to figure out how you're going to brush this fork. So let's comb it first. Before you comb this fork, you want to comb against the fork. So that means you want to comb this way, okay? If you start combing that way, every fork around it, you want to comb the same way. So this fork, this fork up here, right here, you want to comb this way, okay? You comb it this way. You comb this one this way. Now you go to the back. This fork, you want to comb this way. This fork right here, you want to comb this way. You want to comb against all the forks. You start combing a certain way with the, with the main fork, you comb every fork around it the same way. Now, once you finish with your comb session, you move on to your brush, you do the same thing with your brush. Take this fork right here, you brush this way. You take this fork right here, you brush this way, or just this way. You take this fork right here, you brush this way. You take this fork right here, you brush this way, okay? And that's basically it. You do that for um, a consistent amount of times and your forks will start breaking. You're gonna realize that your angles shift too. Your angles, um, instead of you brushing this way, you're gonna start brushing this way now your entire eight angle breakdown is, is changed, all right? So that's how you break forks. That's the secret right there, guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Hope you found some dope knowledge in this video. And if I messed up on um, anything I just said in this video, if, if I missed out on something, please do not hesitate to comment down in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Check out shopnarest.com. Get your sandline beanies. Support your boy. And hit that subscribe button. We out of here. Peace.